I got the biggest he ever. Look at this burst, guys. No! Look at my HP. Who's shooting? This video is brought to you by G2A. Sup guys, thought I would show you my currently favorite build in the game. It's free piece sentry and free piece hunter's fate. If you've been watching my stream, I talked a lot about hunter's fate. It's definitely been my favorite free piece bonus because you get 20 headshot damage. And in 1.3, I use sentry all the time, right? If I would play SMG, I would play sentry, shotgun, sniper. LMG like everything everything I used I would always use the same 5 piece sentry and the reason was because of the headshot damage and Hunter's Fate was before the only uh, gear set with a set bonus that uh, gives you headshot damage however they changed the sentry to give you 10% headshot damage as well and the 2 piece bonus is 30% accuracy on sentry and that's actually really good if you wanna if you're playing with a shotgun build that 30 accuracy it's better than accurate accurate is 25 now so 30 percent it's a lot free piece sentry without the headshot damage just the ac accuracy will make you hit a lot easier with the shotgun so it's you can see my stats rate's really i'm really squishy because as always uh, i want to be able to do burst damage and this build is more for solo play and if you can't kill someone quick it doesn't matter if you have like if I would have 400k toughness here, this is in 1.4 of course, you can't compare 1.3 to 1.4 But if I would have, if I would put in more to stam, I would not be able to kill people And if you play solo, you have to kill people really fast because if they add up and become, I don't know, 4 versus 1 Or even more than that, you're not gonna have a chance So that's why I, I choose and I currently play with a lot of firearms because if you have a lot of firearms you can actually kill them fast enough and then you can actually have a chance if you can't kill people fast enough they will just stack up and you will die anyway so and high firearms is really good with sniper and shotguns so that's my first so that's like uh, what i usually play with on this build however since sentry and hunter's fate the bo big bonus you get is the headshot damage show but as I said before, I played with Sentry, like Sentry was my go-to set in 103 with every gun. And the same here, I mean, you only have headshot damage. So this can work with SMGs, LMGs, Assault Rifle, like it could work with everything. I, al I already played this a bit with SMG. And yeah, it's really, it's really strong for every weapon. But of course, as I said, it's better for shotgun and sniper. That's where it shines in my opinion. You can go through my stats. So I go armor here as usual. I like to prioritize health on kill. You could go health here instead. Or damage to elite for PvE build. But health on kill is really strong. Now when the NPCs are easier to kill. That's why health on kill actually got nerfed or balanced one week ago. So I go health on kill on the chest. On the, ma on the mass I go health on kill as well. You could go health or crit chance here or damage to elite for pve build but i prioritize health on kill knee pads i'm going armor because if you want to do a pvp build you, you are kind of forced to go armor on everything if you want to be able to tank a bit so yeah i'm going armor on every possible piece so all my gear mods is armor as well my performance mod here i would like to have self a heal but i haven't found any of that yet in week three here say so armor here and go to the backpack you go armor here as well because like every every place you can get armor on if you want to focus on pvp you should go armor in my opinion it's just way too strong now since you can't reach the cap the gloves help on kill as well shotgun and marksman rifle damage because my hunter's fate build is shotgun and marksman rifle damage and as I said before, uh, 1.4 is all about base damage. So I go both here. I could I could roll away marksman rifle damage for quick chance. That's probably what I'm gonna do. 
because then it, I'm gonna hit even harder with the shotgun. Crit chance is low if I could get it up a bit and maybe crit on just one or two pellets it will, will help a lot though. Yeah, that's the gloves. And armor on the holster as well. Yeah, you can go through the stats here. I think this is my sniper. Yeah. I mean, critted damage, I can't swap weapon though, but critted chance and critted damage is not as important anymore. I will prioritize critted chance if you can, like see here 80 critted damage, but I have 6.5 critted chance. Of course, I have a pulse as well that gives me more, like 16% more, but I'm not running savage, so. If you can, I would prioritize, prioritize uh, talents like Vicious Fears over Deadly. I don't think Deadly is a good talent anymore. It's alright if you can get up the crit chance, but I think uh, Brutal is still a really good talent. And all the base damage talents such as Prepared, Responsive, Unforgiving, those kind of talent are really good now. Competent is alright I guess like you get more base damage but you have longer cooldowns on self aid heal and pulse so I don't feel like competent thanks for watching Still, have a nice for example I like competent on my sniper because if I just proc a booster shot then I get even more base damage and can do sick damage but for SMG or shotgun I'm not the biggest fan of it I mean it works I mean it's still good but I think there's better options for SMGs or shotguns yeah, headshot damage 156. I am gonna show you some gameplay tomorrow, I think, with this build. Where I go super glass cannon. And I've seen a lot of, a lot of people wanted, wanted me to do builds and shit. But first week and second week, I didn't think it was necessary to make build videos. Because most of you people are not gonna play 1.4 until it gets released. Because, yeah, not everyone is playing on the PTS, so... For example, the build I was using the first week, it's quite bad right now. Because uh, Reckless and Health on Kill got nerfed. So that's why I haven't done build videos earlier, but I am gonna post a bit more build videos now when, uh, when we are in week 3. So we're getting closer to the release and there are gonna be less changes, but th there's a lot, a lot of changes or small, small tweaks that could change my opinions, but yeah. <clears throat> Just wanted to make a quick video about my currently favorite build in the PTS. There's there's a lot of builds builds that's gonna work. For example, I can tell you already like this build is not the best for everyone. This build only works good if you hit a lot of headshots. And since there's since the base damage is more important now, going for example free predator and free banshee maybe it's better for you. Because the difference now between headshots and body shots are not too high. That's something I kind of dislike because you die so easy now even though people just hit you in the body. So 